ever spent like way too long trying to find that one moment in a video. Oh, absolutely. You know, that quote, that reaction, whatever it is, yeah. you're scrolling through hours of footage and it's the worst. Yeah, you just give up. There's got to be a better way. Right. Right. And I don't just mean like better file names or tags or something. Yeah, right. I mean searching video, the actual content, mm -hmm. as easily as you search text online. Yeah. Well, you send over some documentation about this platform, VideoDB, uh -huh. and it's like they were reading my mind. They're ambitious for sure. VideoDB wants to make video data as searchable yeah. and get this manipulatable right. as text. Interesting. And they're using AI to do it, right? Right. I mean, we're talking AI that actually understands what's happening in each scene. Yes. Not just like picking up on whatever's being said. Yeah. It's um, like how it's called scene understanding. Right. And it's like fundamental to video DB. OK. Basically, their AI can, you know, Damn. identify objects, oh. emotions, oh, wow. even locations right there in the footage. Wow. OK. So it's not just like I could search red car and find every red car. Right. Right. Exactly. I could search like person smiling in a park and it would right, actually it's find like, it like a whole new set of search parameters for video okay. you know right and then combine that with what they call multimodal search it gets really wild okay multimodal search now you gotta you gotta break that down for me okay so imagine searching uh the ceo's reaction to the latest quarterly earnings but you're not just limited to like just the audio, right? Right. Video DB can analyze their facial expressions, you know, any text on the screen. Oh, wow. Even the overall tone of the video. Wow. To deliver, you know, super relevant results. Yeah, that's wild. It connects the dots between what's said, what's shown, and what it all means. I mean, they'd be so valuable, right? For businesses, research, anyone dealing with tons of video. Absolutely, yeah. But what really got me, and this is where it gets really cool, yeah. is this feature, Prompt Clip. Oh, yeah. It's almost like magic yeah. but with code, right? Yeah. You type out what you want to see, and the AI just finds it. Prompt clip is, yeah, it's huge. It's amazing. Imagine needing, like, a clip of every time your CEO says growth strategy over, yeah. like, years of earnings calls. VideoDB just pulls those moments instantly. Wow. Or a sports team using it to compile highlights of, you know, a star player's moves. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so the applications are endless. Right. But it's not just about finding stuff, right? Oh. It's the editing on the fly. That's really interesting to me. Yeah. They're talking about swapping a video soundtrack instantly. Yeah, instantly. That's crazy. Think about, like, foreign language devotes for films or yeah. adding music to your own videos without eating any, you know, complicated software. Right, right. Video DB could handle all that. That's incredible. And they even mentioned removing unwanted content from videos effortlessly. Yeah. No more awkward jump cuts. That's a key example for them. Effortlessly remove unwanted content from video. And it really shows what's possible. It's not just basic editing tools anymore. Yeah. VideoDB is like having a team of like expert editors ready to go whenever you need them. It's like going from, you know, scissors and glue to a scalpel for video editing, right? Right. But even with all these cool features, it's VideoDB's vision for the future that really intrigues me. Yeah. They have this whole section, Edge of Knowledge. Mm -hmm. And it's less like, you know, a technical manual yeah. and more like philosophical. Totally. They're not just like building cools. Right. They're asking the big questions. Like, what is a video database really? Uh -huh. Why do we need this now? Okay. How's it going to change how we like see video? It's really interesting stuff. Yeah, it is. It's like they're saying video isn't passive anymore. It's not just something we watch. Right. It's dynamic. Yeah. It's data we can search, analyze, interact with in totally new ways. Exactly. They actually compare it to Google. Oh, really? Yeah. VideoDB wants to be the Google of video data. Wow. Think how Google changed how we use the internet, right? Sure. Find information. Right. VideoDB wants to do that for video. That's a bold goal. It is. But it makes sense when you think about how much video content is out there. Right. We need a better way to deal with it all. Exactly. And that's what I like about the whole edge of knowledge thing. Yeah. They're not afraid of the big picture. Yeah. They know this tech could change how we learn, how we talk to each other. Right. Even how we think. It's a lot. But you can tell they see VideoDB as more than just a tool. No, for sure. They're at the front of a huge change in how we use information. Absolutely. This isn't just a tech review anymore, you know? Yeah. We're talking about a fundamental shift. In how we see video. Yeah. And that could have 
big implications for how we understand, like, everything. It's easy to get lost in the, you know, the wow factor of all of this. Oh, yeah. But for me, the big thing here is, like, yeah. VideoDB is actually asking the hard questions. I agree. They could have just, like, released this as a cool editing tool and been done right. Right. But they're not. They're making us think about what this all means. Yeah. Like, hey, this is big and it's going to change things, so let's figure it out, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that brings us to you, the listener. Right. What excites you most oh. about video TV? Any concerns? I'm really interested in the possibilities for education, honestly. Yeah. Imagine students being able to instantly access, like, any historical footage, any lecture. Wow. Any science demo, just using a few keywords. Right. It could change how we learn. Yeah, totally. But I got to say, I'm a bit worried about, you know, how it could be misused too. Sure. This tech makes it so easy to manipulate video and we've seen how fast misinformation can spread online. Oh, absolutely. That's a valid concern. And VideoDB, to their credit, they address that in their documentation. Okay. They know this tech comes with responsibility. Yeah. It's up to all of us, really, developers, policy makers, even the users, to make sure it's used ethically. That's a big responsibility. It is. But it's definitely exciting stuff. Yeah. VideoDB is more than just like the future of video. It's the future of information itself. And like we've been talking about, the future of information, it's all about how we connect, understand each other, and take responsibility. VideoDB is giving us the tools. It's on us to use them to write the future. <laughs>